All right. Happy 2021. If you made it through 2020, I'm so glad to see you here. This video is going to be me talking about why we've um, kind of foregone Dave Ramsey's baby steps in favor of another um, financial plan. So um, instead of just doing a bunch of talking, let's just dive right into it. Let's take a look at the baby steps and I'll give you some context as to why things didn't work out long term. And um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. So we're going to take a look at the baby steps here, right? So Dave's Ramsey, Dave Ramsey's baby steps are dead simple. And to be honest, they are very good steps, right? The first thing you would do is save a thousand dollars and then you would basically pay all of your debt off student loans, like all consumer debt, student loans, collections. After that, you would save uh, three to six months of expenses. At that point, you start to invest, start to save and then basically just make your life better financially in a multitude of ways and start being generous. So here is the biggest problem that a lot of people have with uh, Dave Ramsey's plan and a problem that, you know, I, I acknowledge, but I just never thought it would truly get in the way. Now, your debt free journey could be a year. It could be two years, four years six years some people that are paying off hundreds of thousands of dollars this may take them six seven eight years you know almost a decade so as you can see only having a thousand dollars for a starter emergency fund is very risky and um in my case only having that thousand dollar starter emergency fund it actually caused a rift and being able to stick to Dave Ramsey's plan because my wife is not as comfortable um, not having a lot of savings. So what happened is, is um, in 2020, I started an internship and Dave Ramsey says that, you know, when something crazy is going on, you know, the pandemic had just started, basically just start stockpiling money. Right. So <laughs> suddenly we went from baby step two back to baby step one and we saved quite a bit of money. We saved about 10 grand i basically saved you know damn near every dollar that i made at my internship right um and before that we still had our thousand dollar emergency fund but i actually had cash flow like almost 10 grand worth of dental work in um 2019 so you can see here this entire time my savings are pretty low because these things keep popping up and it's almost as if you can never get ahead of them so to be honest with you I feel like Dave Ramsey's plan does work for a lot of people, but it's not going to work if, you know, you don't have um, like a great work history or you don't really have a consistent job. If you're a person that mostly gets up, goes to work, eat, sleep, work, fine. You know, you have a normal job. You're planning on staying at that job for a long time. Dave Ramsey's plan is very, very easy to implement, but there's another way. Let's take a look at Brass Knuckle Finance's plan. So the first step is step one, which is <laughs> to stop acquiring new debt of any kind. Right. I know this seems super duper obvious, but honestly, it's missed out. You know, I was actually following Dave Ramsey when I signed up for an income share agreement to go to code and boot camp, which was the stupidest thing I could have ever done. So I like that this plan starts off with teaching you how to not be stupid from the beginning. Now, the second step is to basically begin to like min max your finances. So cut down on expenses, you know, cut things out of your life. Um, stop spending as much on things. And we would follow that up by saving a two thousand dollar starter emergency fund. Right. And this two thousand dollar emergency fund is supposed to float you through paying off consumer debt only car notes, uh, credit cards, um, store cards, you know, Kohl's cards, all these little store cards that people get. Um, if you don't own your phone, if you're paying like extra on your phone, that's that's basically debt. If you're paying month to month for something, you're probably in debt. And last but not least, when you only have student loan or mortgage left, you would build up your emergency fund with three to six months of household expenses. Now, this is what started to resonate with me a lot in 2020. 
because <laughs> 2020 was a crazy year. I had an internship, then I didn't have a job, then I was freelancing, and then I was making money, and I wasn't making money. So I feel like overall, having a starter emergency fund and saving um, three to six months of household expenses and having that money readily available all while you're min maxing your finances, you know, really um, dumbing down your lifestyle and basically avoiding debt like the plague. I feel like this plan resonates more with the lifestyle that I want to live. Right. I want to pay off debt, but I want to pay off debt and have a very, very strong foundation. I want to hedge my bets, basically. With Dave Ramsey's plan, of course, you can always pivot and stop your debt snowball. And, you know, if an emergency pops up, you can kind of point the money in that direction. But there's nothing like having the mental security of knowing that you have five grand, 10 grand, 15 grand, you know, whatever your three to six months of household expenses ends up being on top of having a $2,000 emergency fund. $2,000 is enough to take care of most emergencies. You know what I mean? So um, that is pretty much why we've decided to uh, switch plans. And ultimately, you know, what's, what's important here is that you have to experiment, right? I'm not shitting on Dave Ramsey's plan at all. Dave Ramsey's plan, his teachings, the podcast, the show, Chris Hogan, Anthony O'Neill, the entire Ramsey team has literally changed my life. <laughs> They've changed the way that I look at money. You know, when I finally came into money, um, it was interesting because like when I finally started making like developer money, like honestly, I saved most of it. You know what I mean? My wife had a job. I was just dumping money in the savings, dumping money in the savings every month. Yes, we were buying things for the house and, um, you know, just kind of like upgrading our lifestyle just a teeny bit. But for the most part, <laughs> I saved, I would I would guess, like literally like 75 percent of the money I made for my internship because of Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey is the person that taught me that it really doesn't matter how much money you make. There's no excuse for not saving there's no excuse for not being able to get out of debt if you want the lifestyle you have to go after it so the the point of this video is really you know this is kind of a vlog and um i just wanted to you know compare and contrast these two plans just kind of show y'all um my personal finance journey how it's evolved over time and basically just give you the rationale behind why we've switched from dave ramsey's plan to brass knuckle finance i like to keep these videos short so I'm going to get out of here. But uh, if you follow Dave Ramsey and it's working or it's not working, <laughs> I would love to know what you think. I love to know what you think about Brass Knuckle Finance. I'll definitely make sure I include links. Um, Brass Knuckle Finance is super duper cheap. The ebooks are like $5. I'm sure the audio books are like under $20 a pop. So um, and, and Brass Knuckle Finance has a lot of stuff. You know, it's comparable to Dave Ramsey. There's business books. There's books on how to pay for college without debt. There's um, books about investing. You know, of course, there's Brass Knuckle Finance, multiple editions. I don't, I don't know what edition we're on now, but I have like the third and the second edition. Um, there's books on marriage and relationships, you know, so they're they're very, you know, overall like comparable entities. I just personally feel that Brass Knuckle Finance is better suited for people of color, for younger people that are just struggling through like poverty in general because you know what i found with dave ramsey's plan was that i i was just so broke i wasn't i wasn't getting any further behind but i wasn't getting ahead either most of my 20s right i'm 20 i'm 27 now but uh i i yeah most of my 20s early 20s i wasn't getting any further ahead and i wasn't falling behind either i was just stagnant which is a good and a bad thing so dave ramsey's plan definitely helped me survive like my early 20s and help me figure things out anyways let me know your thoughts uh let me know what you think let me know what your financial goals are in 2021 and i will see y'all later peace